Have you ever wondered where famous people went to college? Like Dwayne Johnson or Elon Musk? If so, in this video, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. My name is Brooke. I've been tutoring the SAT and the ACT for over a decade and a half. I'm also an independent college consultant and welcome to Super Tutor TV. First, we're going to start off with The Rock. You might think he's not educated because many of you might know that he got his start in entertainment as a wrestler. But in fact, Johnson was actually once a promising football recruit in high school and was recruited to play for many Division I collegiate programs. Eventually, he decided on a full scholarship and he attended the University of Miami where he played defensive tackle. While he was at the University of Miami, he even won a national championship. Johnson graduated in 1995 with a Bachelor in General Studies in Criminology and Physiology. And though he never actually became a law enforcement officer after getting that degree, he has played one on screen probably several times. He also, after finishing college, he actually joined the Calgary Stampeders of the Canadian Football League. So there you go. Dwayne Johnson has a degree, graduated from college. What a good role model. Just because somebody's buff doesn't mean they don't have smarts. All right, next up, let's talk about Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They are the first two VP and presidential pair in over 36 years to not have any Ivy League credentials on their resumes. Joe Biden attended the University of Delaware and then went on to law school at Syracuse University. Kamala Harris attended Howard University and then later went on to Hastings Law School with the University of California. You don't have to go to an Ivy to become the president or the vice president. Ceiling has been shattered, everyone. So go to college, get a degree. You never know what could happen. Next on our list, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, better known as AOC, which is much easier to pronounce and I probably didn't botch as much. Some people think Alexandria is uneducated because they know that she was a bartender once, right? There's that narrative that circulates. But in fact, she has a degree from Boston University. While she was there, she studied international relations and economics. Fun educational facts. She won second place in the microbiology category at the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. And she also has an asteroid named after her in appreciation for her efforts at the MIT Lincoln Laboratory. So there you go. Fun science effects about AOC. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, arguably the greatest. Don't worry, we'll get to LeBron. Michael Jordan attended the University of North Carolina and he majored in geography. What's funny is Jordan didn't even think he would play basketball at a Division I school. He said, I never thought I'd be able to play at a Division I school. Nobody from my high school ever had before. It really shocked me when North Carolina started recruiting me. I never thought that could happen. Well, it did happen. And though Jordan was ranked fourth on newspaper reporter Ken Mink's top 100 rankings of the best high school players in the country when he was in high school, as we all know, he's now probably one of the most famous and well-respected basketball players of all time, if not the most. He was drafted by the Chicago Bulls, number 23, and the rest is history. Next up, let's talk about Patrick Mahomes, quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. He was drafted to the NFL in 2017, but before that, 2014 to 2016, he attended Texas Tech University, where he played both baseball and football, but dropped baseball in his sophomore year to focus on football, and it probably wasn't a bad move. He's now been to the Super Bowl twice, and he's won it once, so there you go. Patrick Mahomes. LeBron James, while we're on the athletes, did not attend college, so he's not going to make our video. Prince Charles. Who wants to know where Prince Charles went to college? It was in Oxford. He went to the University of Cambridge. He attended from 1967 to 1970. He studied anthropology and archaeology at Trinity College at Cambridge. And then he switched to history after a couple years. He is the first British heir apparent to get a university degree. He also spent a term at the University College of Wales learning Welsh to prepare for the rank of Prince of Wales. There you go. An educated royal unlike the ones before him, apparently. Elon Musk. Okay, so where did Elon Musk go to college? Well, this is a little bit more of a complicated story. So Elon Musk was born and raised in South Africa. He decided, though, that he wanted to enter the United States and found that it would be easier to do so if he started off in Canada. So he applied for Canadian citizenship using the fact that his mother was born in Canada. While he was waiting for the paperwork, though, he actually did a few months in college at the University of Pretoria 
because if he didn't go to college in South Africa, he would be on the hook for a mandatory military service. At that point, he then arrived in Canada and entered Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. While there, he studied economics and physics and eventually transferred to the University of Pennsylvania, where he completed his degrees in economics and physics. Finally, as some people know, he also was planning to attend a material science PhD program at Stanford in 1995, but he left the program after two days to create his first startup, Zip2, which helped newspapers post maps and city guides to the internet. And as we all know, the rest is history. So there you go, Elon Musk. Next up on my list is Donald Trump, and I know a lot of you know he graduated from Wharton, but did you know he actually started at Fordham and transferred? The Washington Post interviewed a man named James Nolan, who worked at the University of Pennsylvania's admissions office in 1966 when Donald Trump applied to transfer from Fordham University. Now, according to James Nolan, back in 1966, he got a phone call from Fred Trump, one of his closest friends, Fred Trump Jr., who asked for some help to get his brother Donald Trump into Wharton. Now, though Nolan did not guarantee that he would let Donald in, he said he could bring him in for an interview and that's what he did. He doesn't recall necessarily what he said or what rating he passed on, but apparently it was good enough to get him in. However, Nolan does note that at the time, the admissions rate to the University of Pennsylvania was over 50%, and likewise, that transfer students enjoyed an even higher rate of admission. So certainly, Wharton has a great reputation as a university where he graduated from, but getting in then was a heck of a lot easier than it was this past year when Penn reported a 5.68 admission rate for the class of 2025. So that's all we've got for today. I hope you enjoyed these fun facts about people who went to college and are famous. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. If you're prepping for the SAT or the ACT, we definitely recommend that you check out our online courses at supertutortv.com. I also have a couple of books for the ACT math section you can check out on Amazon. And we have private tutoring and free blogs and lots of other fun stuff at supertutortv.com. So make sure you check it out. You can join our mailing list totally for free, supertutortv.com slash subscribe. And you can stay in the know of everything awesome we have going on here. And finally, if you want to procrastinate some more, watch some more fun fact videos on our channel. We've got them for you. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.